Did you get the vaccine? Oh, yes, yes, I'm vaccinated, yes. How did it feel to get your own vaccine? Very cool. <laughs> did you take the vaccine? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, I did. It was very cool to, to know, okay, I'm, I'm going to be vaccinated with a with vaccine that I know really from day one. Weil wir das ja hier herstellen, habe ich keine Bedenken gehabt, das, uh, mich zu impfen. I mean, who can tell that they're part of uh, the solution for such a pandemic situation? I guess uh, only a few people can say that, and I'm really happy to be part of that. It was a f the first time um, that, I, that I got a vaccine or any kind of medication where I was actually involved making it. If you've been vaccinated for COVID-19, chances are that you are benefiting from the science happening here at the German biotech company BioNTech. In December 2020, BioNTech, in partnership with Pfizer, were the first to earn authorization to distribute their vaccine to the public. We wanted not only to develop an effective and safe vaccine, but we wanted to do that in less than one year. In March 2021, time spent a week watching how BioNTech makes a batch of 8 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine at their new manufacturing plant in Marburg. They expect to produce 1 billion doses a year. Die Nacht davor vor der Herstellung konnte ich vor Aufregung wirklich auch nicht schlafen, weil man verändert wirklich die ganze Welt, man hilft der ganze Welt. The pace of production has been breakneck from the start. So in 2020, I think we worked at every holiday. I can remember Easter Saturday, I was standing here pipetting um, samples to have the results as soon as possible. And now, 24-hour shifts in this lab are producing vaccines that will be shipped around the world. And this entire facility and were built in November, and nothing was here. There were no floors, no ceilings, no walls, no rooms, no infrastructure, nothing. So what we then did is we had the construction teams working 24-7 shifts, doing things in parallel. There are approximately 50,000 steps at the lab. It begins with bags of pure mRNA, the molecule that tells cells how to make the proteins that launch the immune response, and a buffer solution that starts the coding process. It emerges in bulk at the other end of the process as a liquid destined for vials. Most of the machines are named after the engineers that developed the process. This one is named after Margaret, the first patient in the clinical trials to have received the vaccine. But the beating heart of the lab is this machine, a container that uses pressurized ethanol to encase the mRNA in special lipid nanoparticles. Those nanoparticles keep the mRNA protected until it can jumpstart the immune response in the body's cells. In the building behind me, uh, we make the ethanol with the lipid together. After that, we start the magic. We make the wedding of the mRNA with the lipid together, and then after that it goes out, and the next step we're getting filtrated, and then after that getting filtrated again, and then it goes out of the company and into the world. Speed is essential, but inside the lab, everyone moves slowly and methodically. Each of the 50,000 steps is logged by one technician, confirmed by a second, and only then does it actually happen. So it's very important that the quality of the product and all the raw materials is, is perfect here. And it's so no impurities should be present in all raw materials and nothing which uh, we don't want to have uh, in our products. One wrong move has the potential to damage the final product. If there's any accidental exposure, let's say from an ill-timed sneeze, the entire batch must be thrown out, all 8 million doses. That's why everyone wears layers of protection, and they even disinfect their gloved hands, repeatedly. I don't want to get stressed, because it's very important to do it calm and step by step and carefully. There's no room for too much excitement, too much stress. It is really a hyper-focused way of dealing with, with the goal. In the lab where we were filming, no one had ever told the technicians how many doses were in a batch. After that, 
They sprayed another application of disinfectant onto their gloves, just to be sure. Did you ever have a, a moment of fear or doubt that it wouldn't work or that you weren't going to be successful? Based uh, on our technology and on the antigen we were using, no, I wasn't. Uh, I'm very confident in the technology we have. Until now, vaccine development has been a slow process. The BioNTech vaccine uses a new technology based on mRNA. It is revolutionizing the way vaccines can be produced. We could address infectious diseases by making more precise uh, and uh, faster vaccines to many types of infectious diseases. But we know also that mRNA vaccines uh, could be suitable for, for treatment of cancer. The clear adva advantage here is um, if we have to adapt our vaccine, we don't have to change our manufacturing process. People don't use CD anymore, but it's, it's like switching the CD in your CD player and you get a, a new song. When the COVID-19 pandemic broke out, BioNTech was primarily a cancer vaccine company. But by using this new mRNA technology, it was able to quickly pivot to a coronavirus vaccine. When you look back at any project you've ever done, you've always looked back at the start and gone, wow, okay, if I'd known that now, I could have cut, you know, a, a few hurdles out of my way earlier, right? But you're in a situation where you're doing something, especially for us as a smaller company, that was unprecedented. The second part of the process happens at another factory, where vials are filled and packed into boxes for shipment. As the cycle comes to an end, there's little time to celebrate. After all, another batch is waiting to be made. Very short celebrations, drinking tea, uh, relaxing a bit and, and being happy about what has been achieved. What was also great, of course, seeing the videos of the first people receiving our vaccine. It is, it is incredible to see that something that you do in research really reaches the people and starts to make difference for the people. So that, that was also an exciting, exciting moment.